Hello everybody and welcome back to the final installment of Mermaid Swamp. Hey, this sounds weird when I walk on it. Let's talk about it. Stick up the ground. Let's find that it's either locked or unlocked for some reason. Let's not eat the meat. You broke it. Well, screw you too. Mm -hmm. You hold that and follow me, alright? What's up? It's so cold all of a sudden. I'm freezing. That should help. Let's go. Yeah, thanks. Such a gentleman, even though I'm such a brat. Uh, I beat you. I, um, uh, okay, bye. Doesn't look locked. Why isn't it locked? Let's go in. Your nipples are gone. A monster? No. It's a corpse. A woman's corpse. A, a corpse? Yeah, right. Not something that huge and gross. And wouldn't a corpse be rotten? It's not just a corpse. It's preserved with adipocure. Was that... Did he say this last time? That we were in here together? S say again? It's a non-decayed corpse, kept away from open air and germs. The body hardens up and won't fall apart. Now I know what the legend is all about. Wait, really? Why don't we believe in the legend? Why don't we believe in the legend? Huh? Because mermaids don't exist. Wasn't I the one talking about the mermaid's curse before? That's right. There's no such thing as a mermaid. So we won't believe in... A mermaid legend. What if it wasn't a mermaid? Uh-huh. What if it wasn't a mermaid, but just a regular woman? A man from the mountains finds a beautiful girl on the beach. Made a, maybe a diver. Maybe just swimming along. The man falls for her and abducts her to his home. He loved her. Uh, he loves seeing her in the water. He has her live in a fish tank. Always living in water makes the girl sick. And she dies. And even when her body freezes, she's not allowed out of the water. So, does that mean I was never immortal? I thought I was, but I wasn't. Right? So I was like, also, I got to I'm immortal, but I'm not because I was just a demon girl. So, that's how these corpses were made? It's multiple corpses, right? But wait, why are the corpse like that? And why the Addy thing? And why are there five of them? If you left a corpse in the water for a month, it'd normally be, be falling apart by then. It's hard to get the right circumstances for preservation. But then corpses are be barely damaged at all. Oh, but these corpses are barely damaged at all. They were purposefully preserved right as they started swelling. Wait, purposefully? You found those old documents, right? About a medicine to stop germs from spreading? What if it was to preserve these corpses? Oh. The man loved her, even bloated and ugly like this. The man, is that the guy who had the twins? The old man? He had a wife and she, oh God. In fact, perhaps that is what he loved most. L loved those corpses? There's some strange people out there, necrophiliacs, with some strange preferences. No one else might ever know them, of course. Perhaps he couldn't give the girl up after she died. He couldn't watch her rot, so he went to a last resort. But that eventually made his became his goal. What do you mean? The mermaid's curse takes the village of girls. He couldn't have just one. The pipes in this room must go to the boiler room. He must have them set up to continuously fill the fish tanks with that germicide. These women are Ophelia's to the Shahida men. They adore the sight of a woman drowning in the water. So they liked it when I drowned that time. So that, such that they drowned them themselves. That's crazy. 
These women were abducted for that? Did he kill his own family? So this is the truth of, so this is the truth of the mermaid. But I don't understand. Why let them why let that secret be known via a legend? Why create a legend to expose at all? I was deceived die aberrations. Huh? The woman. The Shahida woman. Huh? Wouldn't the Shahida woman know that their male relatives were stealing off were stealing girls? They loathed them, but couldn't stop it. They were frightened of being mean mermaids themselves. That old granny wasn't that a grandma? It was a grandpa. No, it must have been a grandma. I guess they just didn't do it to her. So they made the legend to keep people away. So at least no outsiders would fall victim. I see. That seems to explain the whole legend. But that doesn't seem to help us much. We don't know how to help Yuka or get out of here. So turning on the fire helps the dramation and rare wear off or something. Let's go, Rin. This team's finding a map and getting out of here comes first. Did I hear something? Uh huh? Stop it! I don't know where you came from. And they can't take you back. Is that Scooter? Leave us alone already. Take me back. To the earth. You want to be out of the water? To the earth? Do you want to be buried? That's right. You're not mermaids. Just normal women. You don't like looking so hideous. I'll do what I can. Pickaxe. Can you grab the pickaxe? Please grab the pickaxe. She's looking with murky white eyes. Does that mean she's actually like looking at me? What do I do? The stuff? What about the stuff? Oh, do I have to turn off the boilers? Oh, he's the dynamite. Yeah, with this. Of course there's a reason that was there. You wanna fill up you want to fill in the cavern? Are you out of your mind? Well, this is blast it's dynamite. I'm sure it'll do the trick. Think you mean blasting. Shut up! Same difference. Point is, this will work to fill the cave, right? The fuse is way too short. There's no time to run. You'll be buried alive. Don't be stupid. But I want to do something. I know I wouldn't want to look like that forever. You have the strength to do it before to destroy it with a pickaxe. They want to be taken back to be saved. Or you could both grab a pickaxe and start hitting it. Please, Saitaro. Help me out. No. But you'll do it no matter what I say, won't you? Ugh, you never listen. Well, you never listen to yourself because you just helped me even though you said no. I managed to extend the fuse, but it'll be 10 seconds tops before it blows. You have to get to the service before then. Rin, you wait up above. I'm staying here. I suggested it, so I'm not leaving it to you. Fine. Run like hell when I light it, okay? Why don't you just let me light it? Three, two, one. Oh god, there's time. Oh god. I'm failing. Failing miserably. Oh. Thank god. I thought it was gonna be like a buzzer thing. Last second buzzer. Pew pew! Fireworks! Oh, what in the rock? Is that a hole? The ground caved in. That should fill up the cavern. Rin, what's up? Were you hurt? Huh? Am I crying? Uh, tears? 
They're not my tears. They're warm. They're the girls. That's weird. So Scooter's a girl Scooter. I'm still wearing his jacket. Well, I wonder what happens next. Uh huh. Bryn! It's the old man. Uh, old man! So you filled it in, did you? You damn old coot. You knew all about this, and you still invite us here? Our whole family adores mermaids. Even if they loathe us, they cannot seek help. So they need someone to help them. They're, they've lo been lo they long been waiting for an unknown third party like you. Oh man, oh man, Mr. Shahida, tell me, did you turn off the power to the house so we couldn't contact the outside? Yes, that is correct. You were in that village all along, right? When I went there, you were there? Yes, also right. Is he the one that grabbed the woman? T the hell didn't you do anything? Your family did all this. The mermaids adore us. They had never sought help before. But what my ancestors did was terrible. I wanted to make up for it somehow, but I knew mo no more monument would save anyone. No mere monument. Yet, I could not release the girls. Oh, oh man. Is that your mouth? What is that? I love them myself. So awful and repulsive. Those mermaids too beautiful for this world. Creep. You damn fogey! I'm calling the police! Stop, Ren. The Statue of Limitations is probably up by now. And this man didn't do it. The fog is starting to fade. I gave Mr. Yuta a map to the highway earlier. It w should be easy to descend the mountains now. I can't do my old man voice anymore. What are you gonna do, Mr. Shahida? I suppose I'll mourn them for the short remainder of my life. For the deluded men, the departed mermaids. They're not mermaids, a regular woman. And above all, for my family. Thank God he didn't shoot us this time. Yuda! Maybe he wouldn't give him up in that time. Whoa, Rin, Saitaro. Listen, the engine works now. Oh, and the old man came back with a map. We can finally go home. All right, Yuta. Help me carry Yuka. We're going as soon as we can. Oh, wait. We should thank the old man. We already did it. Said it. Come on, let's go. Why is she covered? All right, much easier to see now. We'll be off the mountain in half an hour. Hmm? Oh. Huh? Yuka! Hmm. Rin? Huh? I... You... Yuka! <laughs> We went down the mountain to a hospital, but there was nothing wrong with Yuka. Yuka says she doesn't remember anything, th just that she was cold. Yuka's buying a new car finally. He wants to have one with a GPS, so he's working hard at his job. But I'm iffy about something. Tataro's so taking to calling me up Ape Woman. I guess that's an upgrade from Yama Monkey. How mean can a guy get? 
Oh, and I... I don't have any lonely dreams about being cold in the water anymore. The End Underwater Dream Swamp. Isn't this the end song to like the Nightmare Before Christmas? The beginning song? Maybe Nightmare House? Sounds familiar. Okay, let's see if there's anything at the end. Finn. Heh, <laughs> get it? Finn. My reins might have fins. Oh, nothing at the end. So that's it. Hope you guys all enjoyed this. I'll see y'all later. Bye.